broadcast I'm your host Michael Lange and this is Oakland is today we're going to get an opportunity to talk to two Nigerians who are here to talk about mr. Obi Omo Agege who is running for the Delta State governor with me is mr. Tunde Okorondudu who has been on our program many many times and he is the California coordinator uh, representing mr. Uh, Omo Agege with us also is Dominic Agboji who is uh, a co-coordinator along with Tunde. So I want to welcome both of you to our program. Uh, thank you. It's been a little while since we last talked. Oh, Oops. yeah, about six months ago, but you know, I'm back again. You're back, and yes. you've been kind of traveling back and forth, um, kind of like between Nigeria and the Bay Area. Of course. And uh, keeping us abreast, and as I understand, there are many folks who are living in the Bay Area who of are course. from Nigeria, from the Delta State. Of course. And Dominic, I want to welcome you to the program. Thank you, sir. And we've had a chance to meet before, and uh, I just wanted to kind of, you know, talk about uh, Mr. Omo Agege in terms of his um, his candidacy and um, when the election is and some of the issues that are certainly on his platform. Mm -hmm. So why don't we start, say, with Tunde. Give me an update. Uh, tell me first, what is the, the uh, situation right now? There's an election uh, for governor. Yeah, well, the, the Nigerian country, the nation itself, is going to go through a general election in January from okay. the presidency to the Senate, to the governorship, to the Federal House of Representatives, to the State Assembly downwards. So there will be a general okay. election. And uh, this election will be segmented into different days for that month of January. Now, uh, the governorship election is, of course, coming up too. And we, his strong supporters, we are trying to mobilize uh, support from the diaspora here in the United States, of course, California, where the governor chief candidate himself happened to be a former employee of the federal high court here in the state of California. The state of California. Okay. He also served in the Supreme Court, as you know. He attended to to Lane University in Louisiana, New Orleans, and uh, uh, he graduated, worked, uh, he got his master's there, and uh, we f we believe that we need just this, that American training mm -hmm. in our leadership in Nigeria. Now. We've been oriented with the British leadership, yeah. and uh, Nigeria is gearing towards a uh, free flow democracy. And we want those who who trained here, who knows the way of life, here, to be part of that moving Nigeria forward. So yeah. we are behind Ovi Omar Dike all the way for his philosophy. He's a uh, compassionate kindness. He's, as you see, he said, yes, we can. Yes, he, yeah, I was going to ask you uh, oh, that part Obama. of the Obama, right? Yeah, because yeah. Uh, we are all Obama's uh, protégés. Mm -hmm. We believe in his philosophy. Mm -hmm. And uh, Ovi is carrying that same slogan, yes, we can in Nigeria too. We can make changes. Nigeria needs to change. Delta in particular, the cradle of the oil production of Nigeria is in abject poverty. Okay. And we need a governor with compassion who's going to Carry the people well, around. that was part of my next question. I mean, why, why Dominic uh, is Mr. Omo Ogege running? What is so different about his uh, platform? Well, uh, let me add on to what he just spoke earlier on with respect to his ideas. Please. As a matter of fact, um, based on what we know about him while he was in the United States, as, you know, as one of our one of us, he was able to help project that image of the tribalization of our system. Okay. When he was here with us, you know, we had much influence on him in terms of how when he gets home, this is how, how he has to behave. And he ha how you can see that most of the in indigenous here appreciate his, his idea, right philosophy yeah. in terms of the, the tribalization, injustice, he doesn't approve of it. Inequality, he doesn't approve of it. Exactly. Security in the system there is compl completely absurd. We have young graduates that cannot even have a job to sustain living, and they have in 
found some kind of other means, illegal ways to get money. He is not in that particular modus of operandi in terms of the way he expects the government to behave. Yes. With all the work we have, mm -hmm. the state has more than six hundred fifty billion dollars in three and a half years. Nine nothing nine. to show up, nothing in in place to let these people know that the former governor of, or rather the present governor have done anything for mm -hmm. a lot of people. Now, let me ask you, is the former or the present governor, the present is governor. he th through running for office or is he also running in January? Yeah, he's he's also currently running, of yes. course. Uh, okay. And, uh, Th there's okay. no statute of limitations. It's to challenge him. Uh, mm -hmm. We are backing Ovia up because we believe that uh, Ovia is someone we can sit down and share ideas with. He's open to ideas. Yeah. He's an American friend. He's an American friend. He right. believes that... Mm -hmm. uh, Two heads are better than one. Mm -hmm. He's not egoistic like of most of these leaders. We you, are you're ideas. suggesting that there's probably been some mismanagement. Uh, yeah, of course we the believe position. that there's mismanagement. Considering uh, the wealth, the amount, the population, the amount, the, no, uh, the uh, location. Okay. Uh, over several hundred billion naira stolen. Okay. Just I mean, not I won't say stolen. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. and uh, this money is unaccounted for. Yeah. We are saying that. We're not saying the governor didn't do what he can do, but maybe he's not a good manager. Mm -hmm. it's, to be a governor is to be a good administrator and a good manager. Mm -hmm. We need somebody who knows how to manage funds, who knows how to manage people, and who has that background. For example, he has come up with five uh, programs for agenda. Free education, okay. free health care, you know, infrastructural okay. development, agricultural development, and of course, the issue of security uh, mm -hmm. is very prim oh, sure. primover. Yeah, post nine one one. Sorry, yeah, you know, <laughs> yeah. that's worldwide. We mm. we need people don't feel secured. Mm. So he's come up with ideas of how we're going to tackle the issue of security, community policing, just like we do here in United States. You could see a lot of his ideas are borrowed from ideas that works here in United States. That's why we yeah. say, oh, we got somebody who's going to listen to mm -hmm. our ideas and put it together, mm -hmm. so we can move. Nigeria and move Delta in particular forward. Okay, now the state of California has a huge deficit, um, and probably due to lack of the governance of the state. Uh, people may have made the wrong projections, but here Nigeria is an oil-rich area. I mean, particularly the Delta state. So, mm -hmm. can you speak to to that? The the, uh, the 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 budget, the amount of money that uh, would help with his platform, with his agenda. How does he? Uh, envision that or is it going to be a deficit like okay. most of the other nations are facing? Let me bring out this issue here with respect to the health services. The health care services are yeah, so abysmal. You know, I mean you cannot, the only two places you can find a functional hospital would be Ohara which is in the Wari and Asaba probably. In between the locals, the other 25 local government areas, you don't have nothing. So if we are if we are caught almost at the point of death in somewhere like in my district, it will take you another four hours just to get to the next functional hospital. In between, they don't have nothing. Right. Wow. Yeah. Simp the, the only thing the last the present governor pro provided was free clinics, eye clinics. In my profession, that is about, you have to buy your own materials to come to the hospital. My mother died and she was buried, here, you know, buried in, wow. in, in Agbo. And I knew what I saw for myself. Yeah. No electricity. Mm -hmm. Medicine, you don't even get. You have to bribe your way to get medicine. These are poor folks mm -hmm. and you expect them. Because a healthy nation depends on how many healthy people they have to contribute to the economy. Exactly. None of that exists in Delta State, uh, as, uh, so, as I know. So Omo Agege can bring some of these uh, tech, this technology uh, to the table then. Yeah, exactly. He's, he's going to be bringing debate. experts. Yes. experts. Those who know what to do. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not about uh, uh, my brother is there, my cousin. It's about getting yeah. technical know-how. Yeah. Uvi Omo Agege is mm -hmm. a trained attorney. Mm -hmm. He has worked in the Federal High Court. He has Supreme. worked in the U.S. Supreme okay. Court. He knows how a, a system that works most, how it functions. He's going to borrow from that functioning of the American government and bring it to us. We're not saying that others have not come before, but we're saying that we can work with OVA. 
-hmm. and put ideas together. Because I've been in this struggle. I, as you oh, know, yeah. I ran for Senate. I was going to say way back in 2003. Of course, I yeah. won the election. Mm -hmm. I would have been far up there bringing legislation. But let's leave that aside. This is about OVA. Yeah. OVA is a humble guy. He, he, he has humility. I mean, he's somebody you can sit down and talk to mm -hmm. and say, look, this is, I have this idea flowing in my mind. You say, oh, bring it to the table. Let's talk about it. Okay. Can I you need a leadership like that. Yeah, can you describe how, um, how the governor's office works? Uh, is it similar to the United States in terms of, say, how California with Governor Schwarzenegger? Exactly. Uh, is it similar or is it more of a British model or more of an, an American model? It's, it's all framed towards American. the American model, really. Mm -hmm. It has the executive powers mm -hmm. to appoint and to dim dismiss. Mm -hmm. Okay. There is also, he has the executive power of providing security mm -hmm. to but the indigents. He's in charge of the police. He's in charge. Okay. Security. And also, he has the power, you know, to say so much goes to so much local areas, depending on what he feels are very vital to that particular mm -hmm. local. In, 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 in the issue of security. In the, sh in the issue of providing not only security, farming, for example. Yes, agriculture. Agriculture. We are so blessed in our state. The, the southern part of the state, they c he, he has said it, is that he, could, he, could, he will employ a lot of people in the hydro uh, fishery. Okay. System mm -hmm. in the south. That's that's my, that's, that's, my, in the, that's in the that's in the south. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In my area, mm -hmm. we're talking about mechanized farming. If they will address the issue of Delta North, they are from Delta North. If they will address the issue of the land ownership, so that people will be uh, people will be allowed to own vast amount of land, and mechanize it, employ mm -hmm. people, so yeah. that we don't have graduates who have read economics. Hanging around looking for easy way to make money. That's unfair. Yeah. yeah. That's unjust. Mm -hmm. I was going to ask a, a, a question, you know, uh, in terms of how many Nigerians are here in the Bay Area. There may, some who may be watching our show. I mean, mm. of course, a lot watch this show. Okay. Now, okay. But, but how, how large is the voting population in Delta State? And how large is the voting population here in the continental United States uh, generally? Question, yeah. Michael. Mm -hmm. See, uh, we know Deltans, Nigerians all together, are not going to be vote, voting in this election. They won't vote. They won't vote. But they can impact on who gets elected. Okay. Not okay. only in one format. There are a lot of fundraising going on around this country. A friend of mine just did a fundraising the other day, raised about fifteen thousand dollars. He's running for the House of Representatives as a congressman okay. in the Eastern Zone. OVA is a candidate. He's from here. He has a lot of friends here. Mm -hmm. We want his friends and supporters and other Deltans to be able to call home and say, "Mommy, yeah, Daddy, yeah. cousin, <laughs> this is the guy we support. Yeah, we know him yeah, here. Yeah. We know what he can do. Mm -hmm. We heard he's running for governor." Don't waste your vote on these other people. Yeah. This one, we, we let's try him. Mm -hmm. He's one of us. Right. We want that people to be able to influence their people back home. Because if each one of them call their people the same way they send money, money to Western home. Union, sure, sure. This is a he, he would be elected right away. He would be elected. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So it might not be about money, it might be about mm -hmm. just calls. Mm -hmm. Tell them, vote for OVA. Let's give him a chance. Mm -hmm. We want an American trade to take the hands of us. Yeah. Okay, and sir. and sorry. And yeah. to add credit to what you have said, in my area called the Anyoma Loka, we endorsed him based on his pedigree, based on what he did for us, because he fought for us to get the airport, the airport in Asaba, the federal capital. He fought. Tirelessly, you know, so that we get the airport situated at place. Because that was a more of a central place for commercial use. Neighboring states, which is our nature, we enjoy that comfort too, along with us. And that's economy for the state. Okay, yeah, yeah. So, so, so I'm asking the, 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 the question is that the, he's the been fighting for these kinds yeah, of things. Yes. And so when, while he was here. Yeah. He went, when, even when he was here. Yes, he was, he was, he was still gone. there. Yeah. Now, <laughs> when he went back home, he did participate in government. 
He has held position as a special advisor to a previous governor, okay. Governor Ibori. Mm -hmm. He also held a commissioner for special duties, which means he could be assigned on, you know, miniature kind of. Well, I would say, I would I, I, I say, <laughs> no, hardcore. Yes. When you are a special duty, which means you're special. Yes. You're attached for some, somebody. Oh, yeah. Someone who is hands on. We say, we want to go do that now, and you move. He was able to perform. It was a team then player, was, really. Then he mm -hmm. tried to mm -hmm. run for the governorship in the last election. Mm -hmm. Of course, he was very close to winning. But he got name recognition. Yeah, he does. Yeah, he yeah, does. His yeah. father mm -hmm. is also the former chief justice of the state of Delta. He's a, a, a lawyer? Uh, yeah, he's, he's a lawyer. Judge. Yeah. Judge. Yeah. Wow. He's a lawyer. Okay, so the so apple doesn't the, fall yeah, yeah, far from the tree. Yeah. <laughs> you have yeah. to be doing it already. The credibility is there for us to yeah. follow. I mean, there's yeah. an antecedent. We know who whose son he is. Mm -hmm. And coincidentally, Michael, this is not it's off the record, but he's my cousin. Okay, on on top of all of on that. On top of all yeah. of that. Yeah. And, and, and you have a great-grandfather, yeah. mm -hmm. who is my great-granduncle, yeah. was the governor of Ishakiri. So he he's actually a pedigree, like yeah, I told he's you. a pedigree, yeah, like you were talking about. Yes. Yeah, yeah. bloodline of fighters. Yes, yes. So I'm behind him because I know yeah. I'm a fighter. Yeah. If he comes from that heritage, we're gonna fight a long time. Well, tell me, what are the the duties of a co coordinator? Uh, coordinator. I mean, what kinds of things do you do here, or are you doing them also there? Okay. We're going back. You going back and forth. Yes. So, what kind of things do you coordinate? Okay, like in my own situation, uh, in fact, what I, what principally what I'm entitled to do. I mean, what I what I intend to do or what I've been doing is consulting with the different ethnic groups in my area, okay. the Anyama area. What we've been doing is attending. Their, their functions, talking to talking them, to them passing, out, passing, passing out flyers. Yeah, the platform, sure. Yes. Mm -hmm. Talking to their leadership, no. meeting mm -hmm. with their executive to alert them about the election going on, presenting our candidates so that they can inform their membership and extend the word. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. And if yeah. there's any way they want to help, raise money well what could the we'll what, what could we do just with our our show our signal uh it's about two to three million folks here and i'm sure a number of them would want to support it doesn't matter if they're nigerian or not if of they can course. they can send green like money my, yeah yeah mm -hmm. okay so so that's one thing that you're coordinating is is the funding. exactly exactly and i don't know how large uh or how much money needs to be raised but do you have a goal of uh, an amount well, of we're money not, we're not we're not we're not setting any standard what we're saying is that, you know, in the American system, Obama raised millions of dollars, but yet he collects pennies from kids. Kitty banks were yeah, coming to his yeah, campaign. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we'll take any money that comes our way <laughs> to support OV, yeah. Omar Gege, to become yeah. the next executive governor of Delta State. Because yeah. we know he's an action man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, and uh, not only that, you know, if we can influence or uh, intimate the rethinking of Nigerians here with our knowledge here, our impact here, back home, advise our folks back home. This is the way it's supposed to be. Exactly. We're not supposed to be in that situation. Yes. Mm -hmm. This suffering you this suffering is not supposed to be something that you have to go through. And don't send your don't, vote. Don't send your vote. Yeah. Because some of them say, Oh, yeah. they gotta pay me to vote. Yes. Don't yeah. you sell right. your rights. Don't sell yeah. your rights. Your, what how much will you gain if somebody yeah. sold you ten dollar worth of yeah. bought your, your vote for ten dollars for the next but, four years? But, but then you lose the hospital that was supposed to be in yeah. I mean a record in your place, employed painfully and yeah. health of that area. That's why we're here to, That's uh, why we're here. We to, to let them back impact them to on their yes. families back home say yeah. mommy, daddy, cousin listen, listen. Go and vote. Don't even shy away from voting. But you know, there will be a true voting process this era because well, true the voting. president of Nigeria yeah, currently, please. I think he means good. He means well. He has set up a standard. There's a new electoral commission headed by uh, uh, Professor Jega. And this professor is known for being a very level-headed professor who believes in freer and fair way of doing things. We believe if he conduct this election free and fair, we'll have Ovi Omar Gege as the next governor. Yeah. I was just going to ask, I mean, people here feel uh, marginalized in the voting process. They don't see how their vote would help 
to elect and part of it's because of the electoral college or part of it is that my vote doesn't count uh, we've seen the bush election in this country and uh, there was a if you can imagine a tie or <laughs> whatever and and they say you know what i don't want to have to deal with the politics what what do you say i mean is it similar there or is it one person one vote do you have an electoral college for example in no, Nigeria. it's one person, one vote. I think. I think. Uh, okay, so they don't uh, have. The you will agree with me on that. Yes, uh, we don't. We don't. We don't have that yet. Mm -hmm. As you know, it's, the, the, it's an involving mm -hmm. process. The electoral college is more geared towards the fe the presidency. Okay, so for in the, the state, election. it's just a one man, one vote, yes. majority rule. Whoever gets the majority mm -hmm. vote of the people plurality of the votes yeah. wins the election yeah. and we know 50% with, 50 plus one with the f impact mm -hmm. of the followership can you imagine each time we go out I just flew in from Nigeria just about five days ago yeah. and when we out, go out there on to consult and pay homage to some of our leaders who were trying to get their support I mean it's a convoy of over 500 cars behind each other mm -hmm. with crowds following and when we arrive there crowds are waiting it's like yeah. he hasn't even declared at that time we're only doing having our consultations wow. and uh, the, 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 the atmosphere shows victory mm -hmm. and we are confident that if everyone watching this show pick up the phone and call their families folks back home say mm -hmm. look we think Ovie is the right man we want to support every vote counts every each vote. every vote counts anybody who calls home is an additional vote for us so mm -hmm. we're doing our work to get all the votes we can get they shouldn't sell their votes for crumbs. Very, very important. Because yeah. they should put their eye on the prize. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. it seems like there's a, a, a powerful moral to the story, you know, that uh, here we should have the loaf of bread, let alone not have to worry about the crumbs. The crumbs. Uh, not the crumbs. I mean, because, you know, the Delta State is rich in oil. Can you speak to that? I mean, how does, that, does, does, how does that factor into Omo Agege's uh, platform and, and does he plan on uh, developing strategies for that oil? Of course, and I'm sure mm -hmm. he wants to address okay, that. Sure, please. Me. First of all, he has plans for not only the infrastructures. Then we have what, there's a there's a glass industry in Bende. He wants to revive that particular industry. We have the textile industry in Bende. We have to revive in, in, that. In Delta. In Delta. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then we have uh, what we call it uh, the 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 steel. That's part of I know that's part of the government, but Delta State government invested as in that particular project. Uh, he percentage. wants to see if they can galvanize mm -hmm. effort to use that. Particular. That's employment for you no know, for the for the neighbors. Exactly. So, so they, they have a lot of jobless graduates sure. roaming the streets. Yeah. Well, that's global, but we want to have solution to yeah, it because ask you we're how producing oil. Uh, economic downturn uh, that seems to affect the entire world, not just the United States. We're exactly. in a depression now. Uh, how does that affect, particularly with that oil that's there in the Delta State? The, the buyer of oil, our budget was on benchmark of fifty-two naira, mm -hmm. fifty-two dollars, mm -hmm. fifty-two dollars, right? Okay, mm -hmm. a barrel. But to sell at the market at the current rate, they have been selling for over seventy seventy nine dollars. Dollars. Mm -hmm. Look at look at the accountability of that difference. Is up well, they do it. have what mm -hmm. they, they call excess crude uh, uh, oils uh, uh, account. Yes, they set that money aside. That's but Delta State has. gets what they call the oil derivation, mm -hmm. thirteen percent of what is extracted from the land. The federal government compensate back. We're ah, saying okay. we want fifty percent because yeah, sure. those who have the pipe should dictate the tool. Mm -hmm. We are mm -hmm. really actually demanding fifty percent of our resources, and the federal government should be. Is that tax. a decision that the uh, that the president? That's the presidency and the decision. Decision. Okay. The Congress. The Congress. Mm -hmm. And the, the Congress Nigerian decides Congress, that, you know, a, yeah, which is called the National Assembly. Mm -hmm. You see, they they passed that law that they're going to compensate any oil producing state. 13 percent of, of the sale of that oil will come back to that state so with our regular state allocation and 13 percent plus taxes mm -hmm. received from the state 
put something in, in the leverage where we can do yeah, better sure. with the money sure. we have, but it's not well mm -hmm. managed. Mm -hmm. yeah. There's a mismanagement. I wouldn't say corruption, but I would yeah. say mismanagement. Yeah. Yeah. And we need somebody who can manage money the same way American management is. Yeah, right. So so you have to be very prudent. So, so how many, um, many people live in the Delta region right now? I would say close to about 15 million. 15 to 20 million. 15 to 20 million. Yes. And of that, uh, how many are voting age? Uh, that was, that about was 9 million. About 9 million mm -hmm. people. So the election is on its way. Uh, are there other people running um, along with Omo Gay? Yeah, a lot of people are running, but we know he's going to win. Okay. Because he's working, he's going to win. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Just just working so, it's very, so it's very contentious, I'm sure. Uh, but, but he has the pedigree. I mean, he has the experience. Uh, he wants to do this. And, you know, do, do you know why he would want to leave a very lucrative job um, as a lawyer to become a, a Oh, Michael, we know that all over the world. Bill Clinton is a lawyer. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Obama is a lawyer. <laughs> lawyer. He's got lots of lawyers out here. The yeah. passion has yeah. to be there. Yeah, the passion. The okay, passion has he to be has there. that passion. The yeah. subservient yeah. folks that mm. he wants to serve. Exactly. They mm. want to act, he, want, he wants he to help them advocate out. Advocate for them. Yeah, yeah. that's how you call it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. The politicians are advocates. Yeah. The okay. governor is an advocate and also an implementer of his yeah. advocacy. Yeah. So, who he advocates and he wants to implement his advocacy. Right. And, so and like I yeah. said earlier on, he's a team worker. He, he doesn't care from what party you come from. Okay. Mm. He will work with you to get things done. Just like Obama. Yeah, yeah. He has yes, to walk on both can. sides of the aisle. Yeah. Well, we're just about out of time. I was just going to ask if you could make a closing remark to our audience and tell them again how they can help uh, help Mr. Omo Agege uh, get elected. Of course, uh, uh, I'm appealing to our Deltans, of course, all Nigerians. You know, if you know friends, please call them up, tell them to yeah. vote back home, participate in the voting. We support Ovi Omar Gege. Yeah. He's the man yeah. of the hour. Yes, we can, just like Obama said, we can in Delta State too. Yeah. Okay. Right. Well, thank you, uh, Dominic, and thank, thank you, you Tunde, for coming on our program. And this is Michael Lange, and we will see you next week. So long for now from Oakland. Bye-bye.